It is the 4th of the 10th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, not a lot going on today new, um, but I'm going to cover it pretty quick. Start with Earth's changes, scott.net. Mysterious African volcano still erupting. Now there's a story I put out yesterday about that volcano in Africa. And uh, <clears throat> I think they're just finally picking up on the story. Now you remember that's the volcano that erupted rather dramatically uh, not too long ago. Uh, it continues to erupt. And uh, this volcano was a mystery until it showed up. And uh, they've got video footage emerges of deadly South African tornado. And you can remember they had a couple reports out of South Africa uh, yesterday of uh, tornadic activity. Uh, not uncommon in South Africa, but uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. And uh, Tuvalu, the country of Tuvalu, which is a small uh, set of islands just north of New Zealand, uh, they're declaring a state of emergency uh, as their fresh water are drying up. Um, some officials are coming out. A New Zealand Defense Force C-130 arrived. Monday afternoon to deliver Red Cross supplies and personal personnel to address severe water shortages on the South Pacific Island. Uh, they're also talking about sending them some desalination um, systems so they can get some fresh potable water in a small country. Uh, Philippines earthquake magnitude 5.0 in uh, Mindanao. And Hurricane Ophelia wallops southeastern Newfoundland. And they had a state of emergency up for a little while. Uh, it was declared for look like uh, a few hours later. So a few hours that the storm brushed up against there. Uh, U.S. Pennsylvania gas drilling waste pumped under Ohio. Um, they're putting all this wastewater back in underground and they're afraid that this is causing the, the, the quirky earthquakes uh, going on in the region, let alone what's going on with the water table and uh, the contamination to the water supply. Uh, geologists map birth of new ocean. Now this is uh, out of Africa. You can see where the continent's splitting apart. they got that big rift uh, off of Ethiopia, uh, Kenya, Tunisia. And uh, that part of Africa is splitting away. And a new ocean is forming, and uh, they got a bunch of people out there studying that. Over to the extinction protocol. Hole in the ozone over northern hemisphere in 2011, largest ever seen. Now, uh, a huge hole that appeared in the Earth's protective ozone layer above the Arctic Circle in 2011 was the largest recorded in the northern hemisphere. Though the sudden appearance of a hole was not due to man-made causes. I beg to differ. Uh, we got all that radiation that flew up through into the Arctic and it continues. Uh, that definitely has effect on the ozone layer and they go on and on about the ozone layers. <clears throat> and what else is new? Heavy rains trigger landslides in Armenia. Eight people are missing. Uh, torrential rains. And over to the Ice Age now, they have new today, nine inches of snow in West Virginia, and it's only October 3rd. And uh, they have the Anik Krakatau raised to highest alert status. Over to the RSOE. <clears throat> today, uh, <clears throat> they're reporting that nuclear vent in Georgia, the Hatch nuclear power plant, uh, with the raised water level uh, five feet above normal um, and um, the toxins 200% uh, over EPA standards uh, goes on and on and I covered that last night on the fallout report a little bit. Well the cold wave in Virginia and that's that snow activity we have volcanic activity in New Zealand Mount Rapau R U-A-P-E-H-U. Uh, the lake in the crater is up to 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, they're saying that's reaching levels where it's erupted before. Um, but it's been up that high and, and, and calmed down in the past, so they're not really sure uh, that volcano is on the highest alert status. Uh, we got the fire in Texas, the chemical plant in uh, Waxahachie. 
and uh, they're telling people to get the heck out of the way. If you're downwind from this thing, the very toxic smoke, they're not saying exactly what kind of chemicals are in this fire, but uh, as you've seen on videos, I'm sure by now, uh, it's a very extensive and massive fire, and uh, they're dealing with water shortages and uh, the drought that is Texas. <clears throat> And that is about all I have for you climate change wise today. That's a quick little report. Um, I hope this video finds you well. Thanks for your support and enjoy what you can. I'll see you later everybody.